In this video, a small hippo accident, eye to eye with an elephant, a buffalo without its herd, probably the rarest sighting on a boat safari, the highest density of hippos in Africa, and a lot more to see in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Part two, Kazinga Channel Boat Cruise. After the awesome game drive in Queen Elizabeth National Park and a great lunch in our lodge, we went to the Kazinga Channel for a boat cruise. It is home to one of the highest concentrations of hippos in the world, with estimates of over 5,000 individuals residing in its waters. The channel was formed around 12,000 years ago as a result of tectonic activity and volcanic processes in the region. Kazinga Channel is the channel that connects two lakes. That is George in the east and Edward in the west. We have two main activities that do happen on Kazinga Channel water body. Mainly that is fishing and tourism. While our guide told us interesting facts about the channel, it wasn't long before we came across the first hippos. Hippos are highly territorial animals, especially males. Dominant males will aggressively defend their territories from intruders including other hippos and potential threats. That's why we always got a bit nervous on the cruise when a hippo watched us and went underwater. Hippos typically live in groups known as pods or bloats, which can range in size from a few individuals to over a hundred. But of course, there are not only hippos, there are also a lot of reptiles. For example, these. We have reptiles like Agama lizards, Nilomonta lizard, and uh, Nile crocodile. As we continued the boat cruise, we saw a few antelopes on the bank. But then it got very exciting when we came to a herd of elephants. We watched the herd from a distance. Elephants need large quantities of water for drinking and bathing. They like to come to the Kazinga Channel, especially in the dry season, because water is scarce inland. Elephants spend a third of their day while eating. That means they do eat too much. In a single day, they can feed 100, 150 kilograms of roughages or foliages. That's the main reason as to why they come down on the shores to take a lot of water as they feed on soil while looking for a catalyst for those undigested foliages or roughages in their stomachs. Elephants therefore have a high nutritional requirement and must consume large quantities of plant material, as this is low in calories and nutrients. By the way, an adult elephant can consume between 100 and 200 liters of water per day. That's a lot, isn't it? We were just about to continue with the boat cruise when we were startled by a hippo. I think it was just making fun of us but it's still a bit scary when they appear out of nowhere near the boat, especially when you are focused on the elephants and totally forgot about them being around all the time. Our guide told us that hippos can kill for fun and that they showed aggressive behavior a few times. Luckily, these were friendly. The boat cruise then took us to the other side of the channel. Admittedly, it was quite relaxed in between without hippos around the boat. The African fish eagle and the yellow-billed stork welcomed us on the other side. But of course, it's not just these two who live here. There are lots, and I mean lots, of hippos on this side. It was no joke that the Kazinga Channel is home to maybe the largest concentration of hippos. And here, we see the proof. At first, they were very calm and relaxed in the hot midday sun. But then our boat shook and the engine stopped. Our boat captain said a little surprised, oh, we've crossed a hippo. At this point, we and the hippos got a little nervous. It was clearly noticeable that they were suddenly more active and also grunting. <coughs> oh. 
But luckily, none of them showed any further interest in us or our boat. We continued along the shore and suddenly our guide spotted an albino hippo. These animals are so rare that there are very few documented cases of them in the wild. Unbelievable. This was one of the rarest sightings we've ever had. Just around the corner, we saw a huge elephant with big tusks. What a majestic creature. And we already found the next two. Look at how close we could see them. Did you know that elephants often use their ears to express their emotions? When agitated or angry, they may spread their ears wide, flare them out, or hold them rigidly out to the sides. This display makes the elephant appear larger and more intimidating. Okay, buddies, we'll leave you alone now. We were almost back where we started when we suddenly spot a lone buffalo without his herd. The African buffalo is also known as the Black Death because of their strength, resilience, and willingness to confront predators, making them one of the most challenging animals to hunt in Africa. With this beautiful buffalo, our Kazinga Channel boat cruise came to an end. I hoped you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe so you will never miss a new video. Thanks for your support and travel on.